Looking for cheap and reliable College 25 Ultimate Team coins? Head on over to MMO EXP and use code Poodle at checkout for 5% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another CFP25 video. In today's video, I'm gonna be going over an Insta commitment method that guarantees you basically every single recruit that you want in the game. Now, before we get into the video, as always, guys, if you hit that subscribe button, we're very close to 30K. I appreciate it. And like I said, I asked for likes last week. You guys absolutely killed it. So of course I'm going to ask again, can we get 500 likes in this video? As I mentioned, likes are a free and easy way to help the channel out a ton. So I appreciate each and every one of you that liked the video right at the beginning of the video. It helps the video do better. It helps me out. So please, if you can for a second, just like the video, it takes a second of your time. And that's about it. If you guys haven't already check out underdog, we had a huge first week on underdog, a bunch of hits, very easy wins. Underdog's running so many promotions right now. It's almost impossible to lose right now with how many promotions they're running. If you want to sign up and join the fun, head on down below. My link will be down below in the description and as well as the comments. Feel free to hit me on Twitter if you need any help and let me know if you guys sign up. I do appreciate it when you guys do. So first and foremost, I do want to preface this again, like I said in the other video, I'm picking Georgia because they have the dream school commitment package. This can be purchased with any school once you get CEO. But for the sake of this video, rather than grinding out of school to get CEO and then making the video, it's easier for me to just start with one that already has it. Because a lot of people comment, oh, you pick Georgia, of course. Well, this can be done with any school. It's just they start with it, so it's easier for me to open up a file and show you guys something in a quicker fashion. What I'm going to do is go on over to your prospect list. Remember, this does have to be done with players that are first in interest. So make sure you do add players that are first when doing this. So go ahead and add all the five stars on the board that are first on interest for you. Now you want to do is go over here. You can start any way you like. Remember, you have to do this one at a time. So what you're going to want to do is this. Select the first guy, offer him a scholarship. He did not insta commit. Now, while you could keep going through, you could keep going through and just offering and seeing what you get. The reason that's going to be problematic is because once you go through one round of this, you actually do ruin it for the rest of the time because you can't actually go ahead and do this. So make sure you're doing it one at a time and I'll show you why. So let's say, for instance, we go through and we got... So far three, which is actually a really good hit rate. We got three on Insta commits. Maybe we can end with four here. So we got three. Now you could take your three, but why take your three when you could have them all? So you're gonna do is like I said, don't do them all at one time and I'll show you why. So I actually did create a save point. So what you wanna do is before making those offers, hit the right stick and create a new save point. I called it test. Make sure you're creating a save point before you start making offers for this reason. So what we're going to do is we're going to back out and reload the save point. I'll show you what I mean. So we're back in. Obviously, no players on the board that have been insta committed. So we're going to go right back to it. And let's start with this guy right here, Biquette. And let's offer him a scholarship. No insta commit. So what you're going to do is you're going to back out. You're going to go back to your save point again. And you're going to keep repeating this as you go. So make sure you did create your save point ahead of time so you can keep re-rolling through this. So right here, we got the first guy set. The first guy has committed to Georgia. So at this point, this is where you want to go and create your next save point. The first save point is to lock in your list. The second save point is to slowly lock in your commits. Now, here's the caveat. Like I said, why you want to do this? Let's say I went through now and I did another five guys. Now, when I go to create that save point, I've essentially locked in. Yes, I got the safety, but now I locked in these next five guys as already offering a scholarship. Now, I did make another video going over another method for rerolling this way. Go check that out. I went into a lot more, but basically the methodology I've established is this game only has one singular scenario for first time scholarship offers, first time interest and first time instant commit chance. Once you've done that, additional scholarships don't actually impact the player. So basically, once you go to create a save point here, you're going to lock in him and the rest. Now you could go back to your old save point, but if you go back to your old save point, this guy also isn't committed. So you want to do is once you've established the first guy on your list, you want to go create a save point. And to make this simple, I'm going to title it something like one. We got one guy. That's the one that I'm focused on. Now you want to back out of this and you want to go back out and you could just keep doing this until you get every single guy on your board. Now, like I said, why is it easier with Georgia or why is it easier in general is because of that package, the dream school package. It gives you an even higher chance of getting them because this, let's just say, I think with Georgia and the insta commit package as a first time, as a first interest guy, you're getting one for like every eight to 10 guys you do where you have a good interest bar on. Without it, you may only get one for every 20. So keep that in mind that this may be a lot longer without it. But again, you're just cheesing the system. So you can do it all. You can do it all day. It depends on how much time you have. So here we go. We have one guy locked in. This guy did not get it. We can back out and go right back to the one save again, and we can just keep doing this all the way. This is a very cheesy thing to do. You could basically, if you have the time, right? I mean, some people may not have the time to do all this, but if you have the time, it'll probably take a few hours or so, maybe, maybe less. It really depends on what frequency you're doing this at. You could basically go through 
and get every single player you want from your recruiting class that you're one on really easily we, we just keep doing this eventually they're gonna eventually they're gonna just keep committing so right there we got our second one we got Paquette to sign up so there we go now we have two now we're gonna go back out we're gonna create a save point like i said and we're gonna name it we're gonna name it two and we're gonna keep on going you can just keep overriding the oldest one if you want so you don't you don't stock up your files also keep in mind you do have a limit to how much files and storage you have so eventually you will fill up so you're gonna want to go ahead and back out and delete some which is what i did prior to this video to make some space because you're probably going to use a lot of files to get this done like i said you can just override some of the old ones but if you want to be safe or in case you want to go back to any moment within this process it is good to have the second one so make sure that you are using your new file which is going to be two it confused me because it wasn't an auto save yet but now we go back in we have two guys and you could just keep doing this i don't want to keep repeating myself with that but i wanted to make sure i did at least show you a few so you understood exactly how this works and from here on out like i said eventually you're going to keep getting all these guys as you go through obviously we have a save point so i can i can do this and i'm going to go right back out here anyways but see this is the problem if you had did all five of these first or all six of these and then did these two guys and you click save you would have locked all these guys out for the remainder of this dynasty season it is so important to go one by one you can lock up all those guys and then once you're done and you have those four stars you then can come over to five stars or vice versa add your five star guys to the list go through them try and get them they're going to be a little bit harder than the four stars but again as much time as you can spend is as much as much as effective it's going to get right the more time you spend doing this the effect the more effective it's going to be because eventually you will get it so just right off this list initially right what can you end up getting you have a total of 14 prospects so if you keep doing this you'll end up with one two three four five six five stars and eight four stars fully committed right off rip so before week one georgia will have six five stars and you'll have the eight four stars your entire class is basically done and then what you can do is with the remaining points you have which is oh going to be over 1100 or give or take or about 10,070, whatever it is with the remaining points you can now go ahead and just go scout players and go find some absolute studs so the, be the beauty of this method and the way this was going to really work is that once you have all these top tier talent guys now you can go through the board and go fight for some of the other five stars that typically you wouldn't fight for some guys that maybe you're fifth or sixth in the list that you're like no i got i gotta lock in my guys your guys are there you locked in your ones so now you can go fight for the two the three the four and the fives and you can also allocate more scouting because now you can go all in on a few guys because you already have your 14 guys locked in and you're only going to really want like five or six more guys so this makes it very easy you can go fight for 15 five stars now fourth third fourth fifth sixth whatever and fight for all of them hoping that if you only get two or three out of the 15 you fight for you now have nine five stars in this class great method super cheesy like i always say is it cheesy yes but does the computer cheese you they do the, the computer cheats have you played any offline games and like you'll be up 28 to 7 suddenly your quarterback can't make a throw suddenly they know all your plays suddenly you can't block suddenly the, their, their man coverage locking everything they, they they cheese too so don't worry about cheesing the computer this is a great way to kind of start in at least the early stages of your dynasty get the recruits rolling in and then you can always go back but it's up to you this is just this is just spreading information so i hope you guys did enjoy if this video did help you guys out make sure to comment down below and let me know if you have any other variations to this are there other things to this method that you'd like to add are there other things that you've done how has this fared for you let me know if you made it this far give this video a big thumbs up as always and I greatly appreciate it if we can get over 500 likes. Like I said, likes help out a lot. And if you haven't checked out Underdog, make sure to check out down below. My link will be down below in the comments and in the description. So make sure to sign up. Let me know if you sign up, guys. I appreciate all of you that do. But yeah, that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.